These are the CD shelves. These is Dad's hobby. Listening to music is probably his favourite thing in the world, besides work. I can see why. What with this setup, he must really enjoy a great deal. He got almost every genre you could imagine here. CDs are an antiquate media nowadays. Right, but Dad doesn't like the quality you get with optical discs. This is some collection. Your dad seems like a real audiophile. These CDs will use 3D data codes, right? That, yes, that's correct. Would you like to put something on? Um, okay. Can we listen to this? Sure, go ahead. Okay, in a strange kind of way, I'm getting a Lethal Weapon 2 vibe from this album. Very Eric Clapton-y. Uh, I'm going to skip this dialogue. Just curious if anything crops up from any of these. The music creator for this guy must have had a headache. He's like, how many songs do you want for this? Okay, this is very reminiscent of the intro with the doop doop doop. Okay, this is like menu music for a golf game to me. That's what this is screaming. is the villain revealing themselves in a Final Fantasy game. And this has been in the game already. I can't put sync to that. This I also think we've heard in this game. Wow, if this game was re-released now with modern ideas there would be an achievement just for sitting down and listening to all the different cds probably called wasting your time or something can't think of a good uh, use for that music <laughs> Okay, this is like a virtual shop in a game, again, like golf, um, 
you go into the game to buy your club, your balls, personalise yourself. Sneaky, maybe. Okay, this is like a level complete. This is your score type thing. I'm also starting to see where some of this disc space has gone because, like, it's if these are full tracks and they're like two to four minutes long, that's going to be quite a bit of a CD. Goes to uh, Tsushima. Fishing. This is like a fishing game when you're on the deck, you're picking your bait and stuff and your rod, reel. Think of where that would be used. Kind of a action set piece shooty bit. Again, this is like a menu shop type of thing. I think this is like executing a plan before you start a mission. And this has just got me thinking Cowboy Bebop. Now there's three close together. In case you're wondering, the other reason that I'm going through them is perhaps you put something in one of the cases. Okay, so I think that's all one thing. Yep. Okay, this is like Final Fantasy traveling between two destinations by boat or by airship. Again, this could be used in a fishing game. Kind of makes me think like the evasion music from Metal Gear Solid. Like, tense situation, got to get out of it. I think this is one big one. Opening credits. Mm -hmm. 
something sinister could be happening. It all depends how they go after this simple intro. So there's a couple of different ways they could go with this bit of music. So they could introduce a whole lot of heavy stuff and start going, but um, boom. But if it's staying like this, then probably a memory flashback. Final Fantasy level inside a castle. Okay, that's the same one. Something really stupid just happened. Seeing two people staring out at an ocean with the sun setting. Don't ask me where that came from, but that was the image it was giving me. If a credit sequence is really long, you sometimes have a couple of songs involved in the credit sequence. This could be like the middle one of three. Oh, this we've definitely listened to before. This is the intro cinematic to the beginning of the game before you get to the start menu. Oh, no. No, this is after the start menu. This is you having the accident. I hope this is a isn't actually just the entire um, soundtrack to this game. So it's going to be really throwing me like if I'm building up these images in my head from the music. I think that's just background filler for a location. Actually, going to go anywhere with this. Okay, just to drum solo. Uh, CD part of town. Silly part of town, stroke arcade. Again, this could easily be a uh, end credit song. Someone telling a backstory. Where 
where's it go? Where's it go after this piano? Does it indeed go anywhere? Flashback. News Network, broadcasting now on the BBC. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll come back to you. Just pulled off the caper. Some sort of menu screen, maybe. That we've definitely heard in this game. The long drive. I'm envisioning person, elbow outside the car, driving. Lots of sunsets in my imagination. Love story. Caper and three to go. And I've heard that before, but not necessarily in this game. The Golden Saucer Final Fantasy Seven ish feel. Killing time. Okay, let's go back to this one. Hey, this one doesn't have a title. It has a bunch of noise, too. It's a blank CD case. Maybe it's from a private collection of his. There's no title on this one. It's a blank CD case. Maybe it's from a private collection of his. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's data. Why can't I take it? Okay, um, we don't have, how do we get the CD? He doesn't really have any apart from his music. He's very particular about sound quality. I'm not surprised given the equipment here. You saw Dad's collection, plenty there to keep him busy. I'd say his work is his real hobby. I suppose he's your typical Tokugawa employee. 
Mum probably wasn't satisfied with that kind of husband. Okay, let's ask about disappearance. Do you have any theories about what might have happened to your father? He's not the type of person to disappear and not tell anyone. He must have become involved in something. Did he mention anything in particular before he went missing? Actually, yeah. The word Plato several times, but I don't know what he meant about it. Again, with this Plato, or Pluto, whatever it is. Yeah, you can't recall anything else. I was away on assignment at the time. When I got back, Mum had already left for home. If I'd been here, I wouldn't have let her do something like that. Plato. So you don't know what he could have meant by this Plato or Pluto. You're the one introducing the Pluto thing. Your mother mentioned it too. I wish I knew. There were... There's nowhere with a name like that in here. Maybe it's some sort of code name. I hadn't talked much with Dad lately. What about the 15th of last month? The 15th? You mean the last time anyone saw Dad? Like I said, I was aware of the sign. There's no sign of anything had contact with him after the 15th. Come on, put it together. There's got to be... Blank, maybe it's from private collection of hymns. Okay. ホジョさんの部屋を見せてもらえないかな父の部屋ああ書斎ならえ書斎があるんですかええそれじゃあ書斎を見せてもらえますかどうぞこっちですここが父の書斎の日本までですそう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
have them to thank for that putrid logo. Let's see what this one says. Toshike Madi, the Kaga Umbriachi or Kaga Plum Boss Blossom. Maida designed this to stand out from all the other plum crests that were around at the time. Some people think he was a descendant of the Sugihawa family. That's what I heard anyway. Let's see what this one says. Mitsuyari Ishada, the Kuyo. It says the Kuyo were heavenly bodies originally used for the fortune telling in ancient India. This looks somewhat familiar. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Okay. Let's see what this one says. <laughs> Nagamasa Asai. Kenhana Bishi inside Mitsuromi Kiko or Flower Diamonds inside Three Tortoise Shells. This is from the Isiskama Shrine in Hiroshima Prefecture. It came from the shape of a large boulder in front of a subordinate shrine. That's what I heard anyway. Oh, I'm gonna skip over the let's see what this says. Haitika Kobiya Kiwa, the crest of the Katori family. Originating from Katori Shrine in Chiba Prefecture. The Katori Shrine also used a Goshikchi no Kari as a Polinina flower pattern. That's what I heard anyway. You know how hard it is to try and do Japanese in a voice like this? So no Hojo, the Hojo Yuroko or Scales. Says the Scales came from a dragon. This isn't my... No, this isn't my father's family crest. Even though his family name is Hojo, he's not a natural crest he uses. This is speaking in general terms. There's a legend about its origin. One night, the regent of Kamakara, Tokumoso Hojo, went to pray for the posterity of his descendants at Inshuma. When a half-human, half-snake woman appeared before him and gave him three scales, he tried to ensure that posterity by making the scales into a family crest. So these are snake scales. Takasuna Sakai, the Mayori. This belongs to the Omnigeni camp, which, of which Sakai Sasasuke was a member. It's supposed to represent a dying pattern, or so I heard. Okay, and you? That's Japanese colored paper or iragami. Dad wrote one of his favorite words on it. What does it say? Udo. It means the high road. He used to say one should always walk the high road. Dad told me he owes his success to, as a scientist to living by this philosophy. Okay. That's a hanging scroll, or a kakikichiku. That sounds like you're tickling something. Hakichichiku! Is it a talisman? Is it a talisman? It's a Japanese custom to decorate the alcove with art and writing. What's written on it? My doctrine is that of an ill pervading entity. That said, it's part of Analex of Confucius. What's it written on? My. Oh, okay. Oh, that e. Stuck in a loop. So, it was. Lorraine. まだホームから遺体が届いてませんけど遺体をビヨンドへ入れるには手続きが非常に難しいんだ母さんも日系人だから仏壇に
ロレインが死んだのは俺の責任だ彼女は助けを求めてきた俺を頼ってしかし俺は彼女を追い返した辛かったんだでもお母さんは幸福だったはずですあなたに会えてそれが何よりもの慰め This is actually the Hojo family altar. I never imagined I'd need to use it for this so soon. Okay. What's in the drawers? There was some Sume and Suzuri in the before, but they're empty now. There was what? Susumi and Suzuri, ink and ink stones. Use them in calligraphy. Dad hadn't been using the drawers lately, so there's nothing in them. Is this adjustable glass? That's Shijo glass. It's made to resemble Sijo. Shoujo. It's a high tech glass that lets you control the permeability of light. Shoji are Japanese screens or doors made out of Japanese paper called washi. It doesn't break as easily as real shoji since it's glass. This room higher than the rest. That's the alcove. Tokenomo. Tokenoma. It's a special area of the room reserved for placing decorations. Carry on traditions ain't cheap. Is this artificial? No, it's real. It's a home fern, if I remember right. This is a nice part too. Mum took good care of it. You don't come across this variety very often on Beyond. You've got plants in the living room as well. We've always kept a lot of plants around the house thanks to Mum. Not really seeing much else. Card. It's a copy, so don't tell anyone at Tokugawa about it, okay? Yes, of course not, we promise. ことが分かっても父に関することを私に隠さないで教えてください母に代わって依頼料は払いますわかった約束しようしかし金はいらないこの件はロレイン本人から頼まれたものだ依頼人はロレインと俺本人だ彼この写真ロレインとの写真だ処分は君に任せるえどうしてロレインはここにいるこのビヨンドに生きている俺のところじゃない処分は任せる
ジョナサンって呼んでもいいかしらああジョナサン私さっきは言い過ぎたわごめんなさいカレンさんロレインがあんなことになったんだあなたも安全とは言えん何かあればすぐ BCP まで連絡してください部下を送りますありがとうじゃあカレンあジョナさんなんだあなたずっとタバコ加えてたわねこいつは病気なんだ気に障ったのならいえ母からはそんな話聞いたことないから大丈夫このビヨンドにいればやめるさきっとそうねじゃあ失礼するよジョナさん気を落とすな時間がかかるがきっと彼女も分かってくれるだといいが。So we've got to find something else for that CD. So there's going to be another location with CDs, and one of them's going to be a music thing. So let's drive to the BCCH. BCCH, a the Hojo no Tanto Stata, a Kyoku in the Hanashi Oki. Or a Bio in to Chusha and Nigate Nandaga. 俺だってそうだ患者じゃないんだ気を楽に行こうぜしかしあの DDS の話からするとこの先注射はなくなるかもしれんぞうんそうなると困るなどうして病院を嫌う口実がなくなる看護婦に甘える口実が減るたくましいやつだ<笑>